Welcome to Waypoint of View. We're Justin Miles and we're nearly two years into our journey around the world. We just made our way to Croatia to start a road trip through the Balkans. We spent several days exploring the Istrian Peninsula before heading inland to check out one of the most famous sites in all of Croatia. We are here in Plivice National Park. This is Croatia's first national park and the most visited site in the entire country for very good reason. I think I first saw a picture of this place on Pinterest around 10 years ago, and it honestly did not even seem real. This is a huge park with 16 crystal clear lakes that are all interconnected with waterfalls. We're talking around 90 <laughs> waterfalls. <laughs> we have a very full day planned to try and see as much of this park as we can. There are two main entrances to the park, entrance one at the lower lakes and entrance two where we are getting started here at the base of the upper lakes. We got here right when the park opened at 7 a.m. and we are excited to get out on the trails. First one's on the boat. First one's in the park, first one's <laughs> on the boat. So there are shuttle buses and these electric ferries that help connect the different sections of the park. And from what we understand, a really popular way to see these upper lakes is to take the shuttle buses to the top and work your way down, which is probably why we're the only ones on the boat this morning. Everyone else is at the bus stop. <laughs> but we're going to be doing it a little differently. seem real but honestly even being here in person I'm questioning how is this real what is this place this is some fern gully fairy tale sh right here <laughs> impressions of the park. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Seriously, this place is unreal. There are pools of water everywhere with waterfalls spilling over. Seriously, there are waterfalls every direction that we look. This is unbelievable. I know there's 16 named lakes, but there must be thousands of these crystal clear pools that are different shades of green and blue. This place really is unbelievable. We've been walking for about an hour at this point. I don't think we've made it very far. I just saw a sign that pointed the other way to the boat and I'm pretty sure it said a thousand meters. So... <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. So I know we mentioned we got here right at seven and it's been nice because we've only seen maybe two or three other people on the trails. But I have to say, it was not easy getting started as early as we did. Ever since we were in Armenia and Georgia, where our breakfasts were included with our homestays, we had gotten accustomed to not getting going until eight or nine o'clock in the morning. So the 5.30 alarm this morning was tough, but so far, absolutely worth it. There are so many waterfalls, they have to build the boardwalks over the waterfalls. to the 
top of the upper lakes and instead of getting on the tram to head back down, we're taking a trail up to a ridge to hopefully get some nice views from above. So this trail along the ridge seems to be mostly in the trees. However, it's already 1030 and the boardwalks down by the lakes are now very busy and there is absolutely no one up here on the ridge. So we've had a couple of views down on the lakes from up here, but just being out here in the forest with nobody else around is worth it enough for me so far. favorite view yet. It's really nice to get to see the waterfalls up close, but you can really appreciate the different levels of these lakes from this vantage point. This is so beautiful. We're back on the main trail. It was definitely worth it to get up onto that ridge, but it's time to start making our way to the lower lakes. walking around the lower lakes and now that we're in midday sun the color of this water is even more vibrant this might be the brightest turquoise blue i have ever seen made it to the Great Waterfall, which is not only the tallest waterfall here in the park, but it is the tallest waterfall in all of Croatia. And I think there are actually a couple of other viewpoints up above, so we're gonna go check those out now. We have made it up above the Great Waterfall, and from what we've read, where we're headed now might just be the best view in the entire park. upper section we have come up to another ridge trail to get some more views from above. I'm pretty sure we have covered the majority of all of the walking trails here in Plitvice. It has been a long day. <laughs> but we have had a lot of fun. This is truly a unique place. Magical, spectacular, phenomenal. All the adjectives. Like nothing I've ever seen. Crazy. What other adjectives? Unbelievable. Use? Unreal. Gatorade. Gatorade that was blue. one today. <laughs> I really wanted to say earlier that the water was Gatorade blue and Miles didn't want me to, but which, it is. Which section was your favorite? Upper or lower? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say upper, but... It's because of the people. Yes, so there are a lot of people now. And we were fresh, it was early, we hadn't seen any of the sights before, so everything was new and exciting, and now I'm tired. It's been a long day. Both sections are amazing. Yes. And the lower section has these limestone cliffs on either side. Yeah. So it is it's really unbelievably dramatic. beautiful as well. But I think it was just more about our state of mind. Yeah. I'm a little grouchy now. <laughs> <laughs> we did have two PB&Js for lunch, but I think that's worn out by this point. Based on our recent diet, it was not enough food. <laughs> oh, and look out. Too many trees. If you want my advice, and time is not a big issue, and you can swing it with your budget. Come for two days and do two half days. Get the 7 a.m. entry ticket for both days. First day, what, first entrance? Oh, there's a viewpoint. Ooh, another viewpoint. We call these pants. We're back. We had a resolution. 
in 2021 <laughs> that we would not do any more hands, but by 3.30 in the afternoon. That's all we got. Okay, back to my advice. So do two half days in the morning with the 7 a.m. entry. Do entrance one one day, focus on the lower legs. Entrance two the next day, focus on the upper legs. Be out of here well before noon. <laughs> Definitely before 4 p.m. But in all seriousness, it really has been an amazing day and the yes. park is definitely doable in one day. But like we said, it is the most popular site in all of Croatia for good reason. So you just have to come prepared and know there are going to be a lot of other people here with you. 7 a.m. entry time. But yeah, if you come for one day, you better get here right when it opens. We have officially been to every binocular on Maps Me in this entire park. Every single one. There was a big debate in all the blog posts that I read about parking at entrance one versus entrance two. I honestly don't think that you can go wrong either way. If you park at entrance one, this is going to be the first view you come to in the park. But for us, it's our last view, which is a pretty perfect way to end an incredible day.